Hi, Aquarius. Oh, there's a star card showing up. You see that? Hello, my name is Elle. I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. Three of Pentacles. Some big dreams, goals, wishes about to be fulfilled for you. You're doing some real good work and people are watching you, maybe even copying off of you, taking note in regards to what you say, how you do it, you know, how you put it out. This is going to be a quick reading, you know, not one of our long drawn out ones. Let's just see what spirit has for the Aquarius Collective. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. What do you want to tell Aquarius? What do you want to tell Aquarius? Give me insight so that I can see what you, okay, three of pentacles came right back out. Whatever you're doing, Aquarius, you're blessed. It's blessed. You're blessed and it is blessed because you're supposed to be doing it. We've got the higher consciousness there. We've got a clear mind, clear heart, clear conscience. We've got uh, divine masculine, divine feminine, and then we've got divinity, God holding it all together. Therefore, you're doing high quality work. You're about to get some big partnership. This is talks about, you know, legal matters, legalities, things going your way. This can even talk about, again, copy. Oh, I heard copyright. You might have to even copyright something and do it rather quickly. This also talks about, um, yeah, someone, you know, looking in on your work, higher ups, co-workers, uh, people who have who are privy to your um, your body of work. OK, someone could even be looking at your body or maybe your body is a work of art. Maybe you work on that. Maybe you are the brand or the face of something here. We get the three of pentacles showing up. It looks like life is going to come into some self-sustaining rhythm. Like you just you go with the flow. I do this on this day and I do that on this day. And then that comes in on that day. And then I go over here and I. Aquarius very nice wow seven of cups six of wands this could even be someone feeling as if you are the one or it works with you or um, I need to do something really big if I come back to the Aquarius I need to do something uh, concrete you know I need to make some type of commitment to again we got the divine masculine divine feminine so we've got the energy of maybe somebody coming to a higher consciousness that with you Aquarius it just worked seven of cups here though it looks like there's a whole a whole lot of wishing wish fulfillment um wishful thoughts uh dreams fantasy there might even be somebody overindulging here because I'm getting that there's separation here Maybe you separated yourself from this person, this group of people, or you're separating yourself from this marriage um, or this business. Um, there might even be a lot of different uh, people uh, coming at you. You don't know which offer to take because we did have legalities. And then we have offers here. It says choose one because they're fleeting or they're leaving. They're not sticking around. So you've got to make the best choice here. Clear mind, clear conscience, clear mind, clear heart clear conscience that's how you're going to make the right decision here make sure all three are clear uh, yeah okay all right six of wands showing up it looks like um being paraded around um uh, winning winning the battle choosing to walk off strutting your stuff choosing not to engage in a battle that's how you win um taking the higher road higher ground um this is a, a trail campaign trail maybe if you're here in the United States, um, some, uh, you know, uh, political campaigns are coming up. So it looks like maybe you're trying to figure out what you need to do in order uh, to win. It looks like victory is in sight. OK, um, you've made the right connections with some of these connections have been kind of questionable. All right. There's been a lot of indulging. What are wells? Nine of swords. OK, so this might even be an energy of somebody who's apart from you or you're separated from or there's estrangement. You don't you're not talking to them. They're not talking to you. There's somebody who is having fantasy of you moving on, of you having victory or they're seeing you do this visibly. They're seeing you actively get your your laurel wreath, your victory. Somebody has to watch you have victory elsewhere, doing your own thing. And it's causing a lot of agony, a lot of pain, a lot of sleepless, restless nights, the dark night of the soul. That's just when the emotions and the thoughts attack you and you just can't run from it. You can't. You try to, but you cannot anymore. Yeah, the Ten of Swords with the death card. So this definitely could be the ending of a relationship here. 
some type of relationship, whether it's platonic, romantic, business, whatever, family, there's an, an ending of a relationship. Now, the death card is not as abrupt as maybe the tower or something of that nature, but then it's coupled with the Ten of Swords here. It, even, it could even be that somebody, I heard collapse, okay? So maybe someone falls out. Or, or this great disappointment to the point where someone feels like this is a falling out or how do we come back from this? Or um, th the relationship has completely transformed, transitioned into something else. Uh, yeah, how do we come back from this? Somebody feels this way with the Nine of Swords because maybe you Aquarius or Aquarius, it could be the other way around. Um, you really severed ties with this person. You really cut off that old, outworn, outdated loyalty because you had a, a strong loyalty, a foundation here with someone and you really cut it off. Um, you really uh, said, you know what, you know, I know that I need to transition into something different. Therefore, someone is feeling extremely disappointed, uh, maybe even playing the victim, being overly dramatic, um, feeling like they're the martyr or, you know, they escapism. Uh, scapegoat or feeling like they are the scapegoat this is somebody who just can't cope with the fact that something is over now this could be you Aquarius it could be someone else who is this that can't cope with the fact that somebody's getting victory partnership with somebody else or something else or yeah who is this seven of swords somebody who's still watching you still looking backwards while, while trying to move on or run away or um, they're trying to go undetected in their um, spying in there uh snooping around uh, the eight of cups so this is somebody that uh, maybe you had to walk away from because out of self-respect only you know why you left you know uh, maybe others looking in on the situation can really tell you why you uh, left but only you know why There's, there was grave hurt disappointment you were dissatisfied disinterested in what this person was giving you also felt powerless because there was somebody who was continuously giving was in a cycle of giving therefore somebody took their power back by walking away we get another card of walking away or moving away or strutting your stuff or choosing to move on now it looks like somebody stalks you know they're not over this could even be somebody's um i heard a lot in life i don't know this could be somebody's karma i don't know let's see what else is going on here what else do we want to tell aquarius somebody just can't get over you i mean they're stuck on you completely stuck on you the eight of cups here it's just like self-analysis you know either this person or you Aquarius need to do this you need to analyze yourself you need to be aware of self it was like um oh somebody could have like snuck out too this was like being stealth or, or or being you know going undetected and the fact that you were leaving so this could be somebody leaving in the middle of the night this could be someone you know incrementally leaving you know you come home you you see that this is gone and then you come home the next day and this is gone so it could even be somebody trying to finish something up and then move on so it's like oh once the lease is done i'm getting the hell on there's somebody who just can't stand you doing your own thing, being in your own power, being in your own right. They don't like it. They're in a very restless place. This person could even have pain, physical pain in their body. They're unable to sleep. They're unable to cope with. This could be a mutable sign. You got a lot of energy of things dissipating, going away, disseminating, turning into something else. You know, um, what future energy for Aquarius? very nice the chariot you so the chariot is not the best card in terms of love it talks about being self-directed self-focused on short-term goals getting a lot done um being so focused that i mean being so driven to uh, accomplish to achieve you have to have that that uh that high level or that healthy level of selfishness if you're trying to put love into this relationship into the kids into the family into this into that and also i'm trying to start my own business it's just not gonna work so this is somebody here who's saying i'm gonna double down on me and what i want to do in my short-term goals and i'm gonna move forward and i'm gonna have victory this is you actually being you know self-centered so that you can get things uh done accomplished this is you getting in that um astrological 
uh, uh, I, I heard stratosphere, stratosphere. Okay. So some of you, um, this could be the, your Merkabot. bot. You're getting in and the universe is about to propel you into something different, into something new. This could even be job related. It could even be a physical move. This is you haven't gotten in control of your emotions and your thoughts. See, your emotions are telling you to stay. Your thoughts were saying you crazy as shit. And therefore you've got in control of it to where it's balanced. Okay. Uh, and you're making sense of things. Um, this is also you understanding maybe astrology or some of you learning about astrology here. Okay. The stratosphere. Some of you may have bought a new car or you're moving or you got some new wheels or you'll be traveling by wheels. Okay. Uh, all right. I'm gonna put these back in cause they came in reverse, but they flipped out. I don't know if they were supposed to be reversed or a break. Let's see what's going on. For, oh, they said somebody else can't get them. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, yeah, and this was one of the cards that came out. So somebody is now, because she came out in reverse, right? So this is somebody who's super dependent on you, codependent, can't see their life without another, without a man or without a woman. Um, this is somebody who's, a, who's very bitchy, oh, low vibrational, no confidence, doesn't speak the truth, nasty, um, just all together, just not a good person. Three of Wands. Uh, we'll leave it in the upright. You may have left this person behind. Uh, they may be putting something out in regards to the universe, trying to put the fillers out so that you can feel their energy so that maybe you can come back, you can return, but you might have them on block, stone cold block. Or you may be saying, I'm not going to make a decision on this relationship right now um, because I'm focused on something else with the two of swords coming out. Um, no decision is a decision. Um, you may be saying, I'll come back to it. You know, I'll get back to you. Uh, don't call me. I'll call you type of energy. Uh, you know that this relationship is going to take a lot of negotiation, compromise, um, and that you two were not on the same page. It was a power struggle. It's like somebody wanted to have power over you, but they really, you know, at the core of them, they're the queen of swords in reverse. Nasty. Absolutely nasty. Not confident. Doesn't speak the truth. Uh, could be an absent mother, absent father. Um, just not a good person altogether. Let's see. Um, okay, it's a good one. Let's see. We're gonna close this out because we don't want this to be too long. But it looks like uh, Aquarius or Cross Watcher, you got yourself in order, right? Um, and you're focused on you, and now somebody else is focused on you too, a little bit too much. Um, all because you're focused on you now, they're focused on you. Yep, all right, can't make it out. Look, when you can't make it up, when you meet your soulmate. You'll feel calm, no anxiety, no agitation. Okay. Um, this is what they want you to know for whatever reason. Um, maybe you felt anxiety, you felt, you know, agitation. You didn't feel calm when you met this person. Um, maybe you got a bad vibe, but you still went with it anyway. Yeah. Okay. So, because this card's coming out in reverse. So, in the, it says, in the upright, it would be harmony is pure love for love is complete agreement. And look over here, the two of swords, y'all can't agree on nothing. It's always argument. It's always a power struggle. It's always some dynamic of arguing and, you know, no compromise and leave me alone. And I'm not, you know, it's just a tug of war here. Harmony is pure love for love is complete agreement. Ain't no agreement here. It's in reverse. You just don't agree. You're on two different pa pages. In terms of love here with a particular person therefore you may have cut them off cut them out or just chose to go your own way you may have kind of you know um you didn't all of a sudden just cold turkey this person you may have still been taking phone calls but it was different you know uh when they said well what are you doing you you know what are you doing later or can i come by or can i stop by or can i see you or can you meet me or come you might have said, no, you know, I'm a little busy. I'm going to focus on this or whatever. They start to see that the energy was different. Or maybe you used to blow up the phone and call and make all the plans and do all the work and keep it together and blah, blah, blah. And now you, they can't get you to call them back for nothing. You know, they're, they're now waiting, stalking now. Yeah, peace comes from within. Do not seek it without. So if you're looking for peace or looking for somebody to be your peace, you have to, it starts within, okay? You can't be at war with yourself and your mind and your heart. Talking about looking for peace. It's crazy. All right. Souls that belong to each other always find their way back together. So if you guys belong to each other, it looks like there is room for reconciliation. But somebody's like, nah, not right now. 
you know, I'm trying to get a lot accomplished. And with this person in my life, I get very little accomplished. Um, th this is what I'm talking about. And maybe you came to this determination. You was like, um, it says your life does not get better by chance. It gets better by change. You were like, I got to change some things. And that's what you did. And then you get somebody after you. It's a displacement. Okay. So maybe you were the run the one chasing, running after, trying to make happen, do all this. And that person was running from you. Now you're at a place of, I'm just going to focus on me and do me and put energy into me and work out with the chariot card and start my own business or get a new job or move away from or blah, blah, blah. And now this person is wanting to chase you, but you're not really running from them. You're just more so focused on yourself. So that's what I have for you. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Uh, let's see what, you ha what we have for the future energy. We're going to pull one card for future here. One card for future future energy for the Aquarius. I feel like it's nothing but good things happening for you, Aquarius. Somebody do, yeah, melancholy. All right. So somebody is in a place of melancholy, um, maybe uh, reminiscing about what they did or what they didn't do. They're in a place of, you know, they're kind of getting over the heartbreak a bit, but they're still in a place of, of ruminating thoughts. All right. Woo despair baby they got a gun to their head somebody's ready to give up or they uh, or they feel like you know um without you this is how it feels oh i can't make it up the widower I, I, this talks about a, you it literally says a sad lonely man now it could be a woman too but a sad lonely man can't get over a relationship um the ending the death of a relationship we had the death card come out um, whoa, now they enemy to you or they're contrary to you or they always were contrary, contrary and contradictory of what you wanted. You wanted a nice committed relationship. They wanted to be everywhere with everybody. It's contrary. It was, it was enemy to you. You were enemy to them. You guys didn't want the same thing. Not on the same page. Couldn't agree for shit. Aquarius, you, you got somebody. Yeah, this is you, the merchant. You more so focused on gain. You know, it says a little profit, getting something, you know, together here. You, you ain't worth, worried about this, or maybe this is you, cross watcher. I don't know. Um, damn, somebody is in my lady or malady. They can't get out of bed. They are lovesick over you. Yeah, because they're so used to you being a servant here, just being subservient, a subservient submissive woman here you know just really uh serving this relationship some of you have come into understanding your gift your calling okay um and you're no longer letting anybody be the thief in your life steal from you that does not just happen by me going in your purse or your pocket and taking your money but that happens when i sit around you and i soak up all your good energy and your good ideas and i i, I live off of and i breathe from um, you uh, encouraging me and maybe ministering to my soul and I just really uh, I live for it so that happens in so many different ways and maybe you were that to this person and they were just taking because you know what a thief does is he takes does he ever give no whenever you can you look up the word thief does it says he takes and then he gives it back no he takes that's what a thief does so you may have been dealing with someone who was just taking 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 um, you have a gift okay and they were just taking from it but now you're at a place of the death card again. It's a hell no. It's a no, 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 a thousand times over. Um, I heard stamp shut. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. It looks like it was love. For some of you, it's going to be maybe a career, but it looks like it's love. This is what I have for you. Get your own personal reading, just like this one over at the website level. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. It helps the, uh, for us to get new cards, new this, new that. Um, you can also, uh, what up, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.